They say it is impossible, but they've never met me. I am Rob Lives. <laughs> All right, where is it? Hmm, must be in the garage. Shit, it's not here. Maybe it's in the backyard. Aha! Hmm, not good enough. The playground. Ah! Where is it? Let's try upstairs. Okay, okay. Only one place left. There you are, baby. We got work to do. But first, let's switch outfits. Let the insanity begin. I would like 10 of your finest cheeseburgers. That'll be it. I was expecting a little resistance to the bicycle. Resistance is futile. But uh, whatever, whatever. Bonus round! Question is, um, and you gotta be honest, okay? Burger King or McDonald's? Thank you. And here we go. Where is this guy going? What exactly is he doing? By now you're probably wondering what in the world is going on. The McDonald's cheeseburger. By now, most of you already probably know how the famous cheeseburger was created. It all started when a killer clown from outer space named Ronald McDonald's started using humans to create his famous recipe that we all know and love. I did not think this through. I wasn't prepared for what happened next. All right, so I guess we fit about six in here. We'll fit the rest in here, and that should make things a little easier. You see, when you do a challenge, you go in with an expectation. But what you don't expect is the unexpected. And this is where things go very wrong. All right, here we go, eight miles in. And now, you probably noticed the challenge. The challenge was simple after all. Consume one cheeseburger every four miles. All right, guys, burger number four, mile number 16. We are in absolutely nowhere. I have absolutely no idea where we are. There is absolutely nothing here but dirt. So we have no choice but to eat this burger and move on. Then again, you can't expect the unexpected. And I would soon figure that out. I was so full of life, I was so innocent, but I had no idea what would happen next. You let me down! You let me down again! All right guys, so it looks like we hit a little bit of a snag. We have ourselves a flat tire. Now, the interesting part about this is that this is not the first time that this has happened. This is my second attempt at completing a 40 mile ride for the first time. 
and um, it looks like something keeps getting in the way. So the first time I tried this, I tried this as a challenge and my camera was facing down. So I stopped at about 26 miles and I'm like, well, I can't keep doing this because the battery died and the camera was facing down the whole time. I'll put a link right here. Feel free to watch that video too. Anyways, now we're on our second attempt at 40 mile bike ride. And guess what happens? We get ourselves a flat tire. Is a flat tire good? Absolutely not. I don't know how to change a flat tire. I have not yet learned the ways of the Jedi's. And now we are approximately six miles away from home. And we have a flat tire. Mm. But we're not just gonna call somebody to pick us up. Because that would be Rob Gives Up. And this is not Rob Gives Up. This is Rob! This! A few moments later. The bike got a little heavy, guys. I decided I'm gonna romance this bicycle and I'm just gonna walk it as if we were two young lovebirds just walking down the street. Defeat. Total demise. This is what it feels like when the gods are angered by your consumption of the McDonald's cheeseburger. Suffer in despair to pay for your actions. Or keep fighting. find the will to live. Alright, we are back! And it looks like I might have some blisters on my feet. I don't know, but my feet are throbbing. I did not wear the right shoes for walking six miles. Those shoes were for the cycling alone. I did not picture me getting a flat tire, but at least I didn't call anyone to pick me up. I won't. So final stats. We hit approximately 19.69 miles. We then got a flat tire and we proceeded to walk approximately 5.94 miles. So. So we have approximately six hamburgers left. Now we did not finish the four miles per hamburger, so we do not get to eat the rest of the hamburgers. But here's what we're gonna do. We have just created a five patty deluxe. I'll take a double, triple bossy deluxe on a raft, four by four animal style. Worthy of anyone who walked six miles after failing a 40 mile bike ride shamefully. Now we have one extra patty. What are we gonna do with it? Dexter. Sit. Paul, Dexter, Paul. Give me your Paul. Give me the Paul. Yep, give me Paul. Paul. Good boy. Don't know what the buns, I guess. Alrighty. So here's the message, guys. Don't overly stress about things. When you start a journey, it might get messy from time to time but it's important to remember why you started. The journey is going to unfold things you may not understand. As you start to attract your future life, events that may seem bad, like losing a job or losing a loved one, happen for a reason. It's to get you closer to your future. So enjoy the ride and try not to worry so much. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Now, guys, I'm trying to reach 1 million subscribers, so please like, 
comment and subscribe. It helps me out so much with the algorithm and I deeply appreciate each and every one of you that do. If you have any ideas for any more awesome challenges that I can accept, please throw them my way and I will do my best to catch it. Now, God bless and good night.